This is the ELOS alkalinity test kit. These are the instructions that are included with each kit, showing you exactly how much solution you'll be using. When you draw water up with a plunger, you need to get to the exact milliliters required. These instructions call for five milliliters, so you want to make sure that rubber plunger lines up and there's no air between the plunger and the water sample itself. Get exactly five milliliters. Once you've verified you have the right amount in your syringe, add that to the vial. Next, shake the alkalinity solution for 15 seconds. And then each drop that you add to your vial will equal 0.5 dKH. As you add each drop to the solution, you'll notice it becomes more and more blue until it hits that final tipping point where then it shifts over to an amber yellow color. What you want to see is when it comes to that color and stays that color, that will be your final product. So if you use 10 drops, your tank would measure 5 dKH. In this case, I'm speeding up the process and I ended up using 20 drops, which comes out to 10 dKH for my reef. Alkalinity is one test kit you cannot measure too often. You could do it daily. You should absolutely do it weekly. And once done, always rinse out your vial with RO water and set it aside until next time.